Hello traders and welcome to this weekly video update for um, the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. We see here on the weekly chart not much uh, changed. Uh, I mean of course we had a decline that created a very large week, upper upper week in, the la in this last candle, but other than that we still we're still above this uh, important 55 week SMA. Uh, we are still above the 21 period uh, SMA which is um, edging higher we're still above this um, uh, long-term trend line on the RSI which uh, had uh, a false break here and uh, the RSI is still well within uh, its uh, bullish territory and um, from that point of view, we have n no particular change uh, here on uh, on uh, the weekly chart. Uh, if we look, however, on lower time frames, we see here the decline, the decline from the top, and we have discussed um, in uh, last week report about um, the pair trading sideways in this upsloping uh, channel and uh, the fact that um, it's quite difficult actually to count these uh, waves here as an impulse uh, so we continue to continue to expect a reversal lower uh, for this um, price action to be a wave 4 um, of uh, this uh, wave 3 we uh, I invalidation uh, is uh, at uh, this level here which um, is at um, 7368 uh, and this one made uh, 72 uh, 72 which one made 72 uh, 978 which uh, keeps this scenario um, valid although um, a little unusual we very rarely see such um, uh, deep retracements of uh, wave 4 uh, so close to the high of wave 1 but in terms of um, Elliott wave analysis and the rules the, the count is still valid I will continue to consider it as uh, such and according to the developments uh, in the future I may have to alter it, change it, etc. But for now it remains valid. Uh, we see how the bounce was uh, limited by the 78.6% retracement of uh, wave 3 and the upper boundaries of uh, this upsloping channel. Uh, we also see how the reversal was uh, stopped at the 21 day SMA and from there we had a very a very sharp um, a very sharp uh, rebound too and uh, despite that the RSI which uh, unfortunately does not show any divergence here uh, at least closed below its uh, 9 period SMA uh, and therefore that keeps uh, our scenario of uh, lower prices alive let's go on to the 4 hour chart and see what happened here um, and uh, possibly we can see it even uh, uh, better in the one hour chart we see here how uh, the perfect target for uh, wave 5 which is uh, the 61.8 percent expansion uh, from wave 4 of the distance travel between the beginning of wave 1 until the end of wave 3 this distance expanding from this low 61.8% uh, of that distance is uh, the most common uh, target for wave 5 and this is actually when where the um, this wave 5 ended this blue wave 5 ended and with it uh, the wave 4 ended and we had a sharp decline for there uh, and although it is very uh, very sharp and we cannot uh, count it uh, very well uh, I still believe that this is a 5 wave move decline and therefore this thing here is a correction 
but I don't know if it is completed or not. For now, the rebound is limited by the 55 period with the 55 hour SMA, and I expect a reversal lower from uh, here. The idea here is that uh, uh, this is a great opportunity for uh, the long term trader. Uh, since uh, there is o only about um, about uh, uh, let me show you here on the screen this is uh, only about uh, ah, I have to change my mouse I guess this click so about 140 pips 140 pips from the top which will invalidate this wave 4 uh, and uh, looking at uh, the weekly chart we can see that uh, the potential of uh, this decline from here up to here the current prices is uh, 1000 pips so we have 1000 pips of profit against 130 of risk that's an excellent risk reward ratio for uh, a long term trader but you should also take into consideration the rate differential between the New Zealand dollar and the United States dollar which will um, uh, create uh, higher swaps uh, for uh, holding that uh, short position for a long period of time but nevertheless it is uh, about 8 times higher the, the, the profit against the risk so, so it is a very good uh, opportunity that pretty much uh, concludes everything in my view about the New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi, and uh, see you next week.